Craig, which skins running back was most deflated when he saw Adrian Peterson walk through the door? Who's who's going to be the odd man out? I would think it's P. Ryan um, or maybe Marshall that he thinks maybe now I'm going to get put on IR. But I don't know. It's That's the thing I still can't figure out uh, is exactly how the roster mechanics of this work because – They've been pretty consistent behind the scenes and then on record even saying that they want like a a number one type back and a backup and then a Chris Thompson and a backup to Chris. And so it would seem like Capri Bibbs, who is the most on the bubble, if you will, it would seem like he's safe if Marshall's going to be out because Capri is a backup to Chris, who's had a pretty good camp and a pretty good preseason. So if Rob Kelly is the starter, like by process of elimination, that's Samaj P. Ryan. And so I wonder if they are, I mean, Samaj looked great the other night in the one carry, unfortunately, he gets hurt on. But I wonder if they were kind of out on P. Ryan and the ankle is going to be an excuse to either IR or trade him or I don't know. But it, P. Ryan seems like the answer by process of elimination. But I don't have a, a better explanation for it than that. What do they love so much about Rob Kelly? It, it, during the telecast, I'm not sure if you heard, he probably didn't. Um, they mentioned that last year he was fourth in the NFL in yards after contact. So, okay, I'll buy that. But beyond that, what else do they love about him? I mean, I think at this point he knows their system. He, he does everything else well. You know, he blocks well. Uh, he, you know, in passing situations, uh, he can get out and be a receiver uh, and be a reliable one. I know there was a reputation for him early that he wasn't a very good receiver, but he's, he's fine. He can catch. Um, he understands when and how to get out and, and be an outlet for a quarterback. Um, and then I think the yards after contact thing is a big deal because they have not blocked well the last couple of years. And the fact that he can, like, he very rarely gets the, the huge, huge loss. Like, he very rarely gets tackled for minus four. And plays that should be minus four, he gets one on. And everyone's like, oh, his, his average stinks. I'm like, well, he's getting, you know, three yards to five yards consistently more than he should. And that's a pretty good number. So I think that's kind of the the interesting thing with Kelly is he consistently makes chicken salad out of you know what, uh, but has he ever been able to take good blocking and turn it into big numbers? Very limited stretches. He had the monster game against Green Bay a couple years ago. It was part of a, a three-week stretch that he was pretty darn good. I think he had uh, basically almost 400 yards in three weeks, uh, including like 137 or something like that against Green Bay. Um, but it's it's uh, it's a situation where because he's been able to consistently, per, you know, keep them on schedule when the offensive line has not given him a whole lot of a chance to. I think that's what's impressed them as a runner over the past couple of years, and his and his work ethic too. I mean, he's gone from fat Rob to fit Rob, and uh, that has not gone unnoticed. Seahawks, I'm asking you to predict the future here. All right, I that'll go well. Prognosticate. Look at that crystal ball. Prognosticate here. Do you think Adrian Peterson will be the starting running back against Arizona? No, I think Kelly will. I think that if you ask me, you know, is he going to be on the roster? That's a much more difficult question. Um, but is is he going to be the starter? That's, to me, a pretty easy one. As long as Rob Kelly is healthy, no, Kelly will be. Now, is he going to take a lot of the one reps in this game against Denver? I would assume Kelly takes a fair amount, and then Peterson is his backup, and then AP gets you know reps with the twos. Um, I the thing that I'm interested in with Kelly now, if he is seen as like the starter, which again Jay has said like Rob's the starter, uh, is do they treat him with kid gloves? Do they try to pull him early, and then Peterson winds up getting reps with the ones because yeah. they want to keep Rob healthy? Well, don't you want to see Peterson with the ones? No, yeah, you want no good you to see him with the him. twos. Well, you want to see him. The twos have actually played pretty darn well uh, in this preseason. I, I I think you want to see him some with the ones for sure. I mean, you're also going to have to see him with some modified ones because, like, Trent Williams is not going to play, I would assume, as long as the rest of the ones, uh, which obviously is a big deal because he's only the best left tackle in football. And so, yeah, I, you're going to see some Adrian Peterson with the ones, but, but Kelly, I would assume, is going to get a, a fair amount of work. Um, else that he's done how difficult is it for a guy like peterson to come third week of the preseason and learn the playbook uh it depends on if he's ever played in a similar offense before from a terminology standpoint even sometimes if you play in a similar offense but the terminology is different that can actually be more difficult where you know if if you know something is apple and all of a sudden the new team calls it orange and you hear orange and orange and the old offense was something else then you're all of a sudden you're twisted in, in a giant circle. Um, so 
I don't know yet how difficult he thinks this is going to be in terms of run schemes and tracks and things like that. I mean, this is a dude who's been in the NFL for 10 years and has been as good as anybody that the league has ever seen, basically, sans, you know, one or two, maybe. And so, hey, run downhill on a man blocking scheme. He's going to be able to get that. It's just a matter of what they call the things. And I would assume at this point in his career, and he's played enough football uh, and went through a couple of coaches in Minnesota, obviously went to New Orleans, went to Arizona last year, that he's he's been through a couple of different uh, terminology packages in, in his career and, and hopefully something that is that is easy for him to learn.